Qumran, better known as Crow Valley or Valley of the Crow. The origin of the name is in fact a matter of conjecture. However, Crow Valley and the Valley of the Crow are the usual deviations. The name, however, only originally applied to the area which is now known as Upper Cumbran. The area known as Old Cumbran is only as old as possibly the mid 19th century. Within the last century or so, Old Cumbran is one of the number of villages to which sprang up. This is based on a rapid industrial development. However, prior to all of this, the valley itself had been a close-knit farming community. The word Cumbran, as well as the town, is now used to describe a much wider area. The new town itself spreads into the three ancient parishes, of which are Lantana, Lanfrakfer, both upper and lower divisions, as well as Hentless. In 1949, the shopping centre and housing development began with 3,160 acres designated for the, the town site. At the time of this development, the population was barely 12,000. This population resided within the smaller townships of Old Cumbran, Pont Newid, as well as the nearby hamlets of Lantarnum, Crossy Kiliog, and Upper Cumbran. The purpose of this development was intended to house a population of 35,000 people. My name is Yvonne Jones. I'm Chair Governors of St David's School. I've been Chair for three years now and I'm going to talk about how, I've, how things have changed in Cumbran over the last few years. I moved out to Cumbran in 1975 because my married a soldier my husband was posted. My first posting was Krakawa and that was the start of my moving around and I didn't come back till 2004 except for visits to my mum and in-laws. And over the years I've noticed a dramatic change in the town centre, how it's been built up <coughs> and how things have progressed and how they, they've built houses in places where we used to play. The town centre has built up and it is very good. The only trouble is, come Christmas time, the parking, because it's free, gets used by everybody except the residents of Torvine, of Cumbran. And it's a bit annoying actually because we have to leave our cars at home for people outside of Cumbran to come in and do their shopping and they stay for the four hours. Before there was a time there, it was a stay all day, so we could never get our cars into town. But Cumbran is, is, I think, one of the better shopping centres around. And I'm talking, when I lived in Hampshire, I used to come home to, do, to, to shop until they built West Quay in Southampton, and then I went down there. Uh, like I said, I was Chair of Governors of St David's, and Sarah's interviewed um, our executive head, um, Mrs. Jackie Bates. Jackie's also the head teacher up at Woodlands in Thornhill. She's been at our school two years and she leaves now this August because um, it was only a two year appointment. While we found a head, we have, we've got um, an acting head coming in because eventually the two schools, two Catholic primary schools, are going to be merged into one um, because the two parishes have, have merged when and that happened when Father Cullen of St David's retired and they couldn't get another priest so they merged the two parishes. Oh, Cum why is Cumbran a new town? Why do I think Cumbran is a new town? I think Cumbran is a new town because when, when we first moved down to Cumbran in 1961 when my dad came out of the mines 
and worked, went to work for Girlings. <coughs> there was very few shops. Um, they went down to, the shops went down as far as David Evans, around the corner and down that side and on the opposite side and then there was nothing. <coughs> but then they started to build up. Um, and I, I saw, I didn't see all the building work, but every time we came home there was new shops being added to the new town. And I have to say, um, having lived in an, a number of places, uh, Cumbran, I, I think, the council, the council in Cumbran and the corporation were far forward thinking in, in the day because they, they actually built the town centre and made it, and there was enough room for them to enlarge on that and make it bigger. In, in all fairness, Cumbran is a good shopping centre. What's the fight? Here we go. Hello, my name is Jackie Bates. I'm head teacher at Woodlands Community Primary School and St David's Roman Catholic Primary School in Cumbran. I've been asked to talk about the changes um, in Cumbran and more specifically in the school. So I'm going to talk about the changes that have happened that I've noticed. Um, for St David's Roman Catholic Primary. Probably um, one of the main changes is uh, the refurbishment both inside the building and outside the building. Starting with the outside, we've had um, new pavements put um, around the school, which has enhanced the health and safety of the children. Um, this was um, really important work uh, because prior to that the children, a large amount of the children would have to walk on the road and uh, St David's is uh, situated on an industrial estate and therefore there were a lot of articulated lorries that use that road and obviously pedestrians and articulated lorries are not a good mix so we're really pleased with that change and that came about with me talking to a gentleman called Patrick Bates, at, uh, who's no relation of mine, I have to say, at the authority, and he put in the bid to the Welsh Assembly Government and managed to get us the funding to do that, and I have to say they've done a really good job. Comments from parents, governors, teachers, children have all been really, really, really positive, so we're very grateful for that. Um, Keeping to the outside of the building, changes that have been noted as well to the grounds. We've had a new playgroup established and that's been refurbished largely due to the generosity of the diocesan board. We paid for 85% of that work. So it's had a new roof, new cladding, new windows, etc. And that's been a great benefit to the children. And um, parents are certainly really pleased with that. Inside the building, the building was quite dilapidated when I came to St David's and haven't had much work um, inside the building, but uh, we've started the process now using our budget planning for improvements. So, for example, this year we've managed to uh, refurbish two classrooms and next year we'll be planning to do the remainder of the classrooms. We've had internal walls put up to create a classroom area um, as well, and that's been a benefit. Um, and I think all in all, um, that's the work has been all that work has been um, managed by with the help of the diocese, the LA, and obviously uh, the school budget. So we're very grateful for that.